It's very evident from what I'm feeling, definitely feeling within my body, that there is a pushback with people, that they're feeling like they're retreating, that they're disconnecting from the outer reality, but still really connected to the emotion of it. And so what I want to stress, particularly at this moment, is the fact that we really need to consider what we truly believe. Um, if we are all here talking about being on a spiritual journey, yet we only tout that out when we feel um, it's the right time, like a Sunday every two weeks where I do my spiritual practice or every morning when I am doing my concentration exercises. It's a bit more than that. Faith is a total belief that you have from an internal knowing that there is a plan playing out and that you're part of the plan. You're part of the, the solution, not part of the chaos that is going out there. Um, the image that I got, and I've been talking with a few people, um, just chatted with Bev before, um, and the image that I got was, imagine that this outer world of reality, and this is the same conversation I had with Mary Louisa, who's a clairvoyant yesterday, where she says, I feel like I've seen reality being ripped like a piece of material. And that behind that is all the light. But the, the, what we're being shown is like a screen, a hologram that we are all playing into. And what feeds that hologram and helps it stopping from being distorted um, is the emotional charge that we put into that to um, when we're feeling frustrated or disconnected or, you know, sort of in total disbelief. And so... I really resonated what, with what Mary Louisa said because that's how I see it. I always see the distortions as ripped fabrics of time and space. And so we're really being asked to um, keep our energy high and certainly if listening to the outer world fuels your inner um, belief and knowing that you know we're on the right path and, and knowing that things are going to intensify but it's not going to affect you, then sure. Keep, keep hearing those things, but having real discretion. If you're so engaged emotionally by what's happening out there um, and the tightening of the net, then disconnect from it. Don't watch any mainstream media at all. It's very important that we don't let our energy, we don't let our vibration uh, sink into the pit because actually that is what feeds the field it's the energy that the field and I'm talking about the negative aspect I'm not talking just the information field I'm talking the negative aspect that requires some fuel and where the fuel and the fuel is our negative emotions so um, really important again to draw back I'm finding I'm doing a lot of journaling as I mentioned before um, I'm really aware that I've got some strong guides around me at the moment. I'm having to have conversations with them um, because I know that they have a bigger picture. So that's one of the things I'm going to uh, I'm doing. And knowing that that um, you want to be showing the truth. That's what this year is about. That we're going to see clear vision, 2020 vision, what has actually been happening. And so you're being shown. And I keep coming back, back to, once again, a deep knowing that I have, and I hope all of you are starting to have this foster within you, is that you only uh, start to apply more control on a collective when you've actually lost. Not you're losing, you're lost. And this is like a child in a supermarket having a tantrum and they're not getting what they want so they're going to make sure everything's um, they're going to do everything to try to get what they want and it's not a us or a them all you're seeing is the distortions that have been in the consciousness of the collective for such a long time 
this is why Grigory Grabovoy um, really was forcing people to jump on the PRK One New device and use that because he he um, said to all the leaders, what's happening is people aren't waking up fast enough. Uh, the consciousness is still totally disconnected and asleep. And for all those I've to talked to um, or messaged in our group, it's hard to be awake. It's hard to see what looks like the truth. Um, and I'm not just talking about what's playing out in the fear bit. I mean, to see how many people just blindly follow what's happening. When we can see the bigger picture, it's hard to be there without screaming at the television or screaming at your screen, wake up, wake up, can't you see? And so I think that's for us, for the people and who've had a voice, especially in this thread today, it's all about us feeling a little bit, why can't you see? We can see, why can't you? Um, so just, okay, feel that for having that certainty that, you know, we're, you're on the right place, you're, you're in the right space, you're in a collective, as we have in e equals VS, that is supporting and nurturing. Lean into that if you're having um, a not a good time at the moment. Feel free to message me. That's what I'm here to, to support you and many other in the group. So please today, step out of the fear of the collective consciousness. Take your consciousness outside of that and into the, the sphere of favorable development of the creator where you're in harmony where you're standing in the light of your soul, driven by, driven by that feeling the soul gives you when you're actually in your heart. Spend some time with you. Disconnect from the outer world because it'll just keep you engaged. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I have a very big surprise for you shortly. I will send in an email. So I've got a special guest this week. Um, bye for now.